All right, here we are. We're back again. Um, so it's night time. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I do want to get started on some stuff. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna build a platform out in this direction, which uh, will be where our mine shaft is going to be located. It's going to be a uh, three by three mine shaft. might switch this out for the pink wood at some point, but for right now we're going to be using this. Uh, I should make an axe. Do we need some more stone? This is why, you know, we need all of, uh, that's why we need more stone. This is also going to be, um, I'm also going to, once we hit the ground, I'm going to uh, be able to make another pathway, so you can actually enter the mine through, uh, <coughs> you'll be able to enter the mine through, uh, gosh, what am I trying to say? Can't even think. From the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. One, two, three. That's the middle one. All right. And uh, we'll dig through the trees a bit. Actually, let's cut it back to here. Uh, this is will be our first tree connection here, because like I said, I'm going to sort of make it uh, go between the trees. I think that'll make a neat looking effect. Alright, let's get down there. Ow! Ooh, that hurt. Okay. So now we know landing on that tree is painful. <laughs> Navigating around in these jungles is actually somewhat difficult at times. Hello there. <laughs> you tried to get the drop on me, didn't you? Yeah, but I saw I saw through your tricks. Make lots of noise when you're walking on uh on these leaves. I do I thought I saw a skeleton around here. I wonder if it's still around. Honestly I could make use of the bones if it dropped any. Yes, there we go. Yes, there we go. Alright, so... Wow. I just love this place, though. It's just naturally generated. It looks so neat. Alright. Anyway, back to business. Um... Normally I make a tree farm area, because I like, I don't like, you know, screwing up the natural landscape too much. I like trying to keep the landscape the way it's looking, because it usually looks pretty cool the way it is, and if you're trying to recreate anything naturally, you usually just screw it up really bad. Um, so I'll be leaving the natural landscape as it is, when possible, um, and, you know, the only time I'll really be changing it is uh, when I need to put something there. Like, I'm removing these tree branches only because I'm going to be putting mine shaft here. And I'll, repla 
place those ones up there, but I did just about run out. I'm going to use this little platform, just put some dirt up there and plant a giant tree and cut it all down. So, uh, this will be my first one I've done. I've heard some people say, oh yes, it looks like vines do spread, because I didn't put that one there. I remember that. That one was in there. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, um... But, uh, I've heard that these give you an awful lot of wood. Okay, hold on, I need some more. I need some more dirt here. But, uh, these will give you an awful lot of wood. It will be pink wood, but... This mine shaft, I don't care too much about it. You know, being pink and all. Actually, I was just thinking... I think, because uh, I, I actually had planned on transforming this at some point into something different. I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to make this into a 2x2 two two thing. That way, at a later point... Darn it, I didn't grab enough. Again. At some later point, I can convert this into uh, something else. I'm going to see if I can convert it into a mob farm. At some later point. Uh, you know, nothing right now, obviously. Wow, I didn't think that would work. Um, I think that would be kind of neat, because I don't, you know, this, this mine shaft won't be, um, in use, you know, forever. So, uh, I'll be able to replace it. Okay, I need a couple more of these jungle saplings. Let's just finish cutting this one. Oh. Nah. I hate... <laughs> I hate, uh... Cutting these things down, but... I'm given no choice. Now a lot easier if you start from the top, though. As are all of these. So that's how they stay alive. They have little, uh... They have little pieces of wood embedded in the ground. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was wondering how how in the world these things were staying alive. Completely bewildered me. I figured maybe when they were put in they uh they act like the ones that you manually put in and they don't despawn. But I wasn't really sure. Okay now uh been a little while since I've seen this, so I can't remember if it takes four pieces of bone meal or just one to grow these giant jungle trees. All I know is it requires a two by two and bone meal. Now I don't know how much, so. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. That's nice. I'll be able to replant these things and, more importantly, be able to get a ton of wood. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, do a spiral staircase up this and then just cut out all the blocks I used for the staircase, which going down should be a little faster because there won't be very many left. Wow, I think this is really cool though. They, uh, they spawn with vines already growing off them. I mean, these look like the ones that were spawned in by the world, honestly. Which is good because, uh... I'd hate for it not to be like that. It, they, uh... They come as, like, you know, the neutered ones that you always plant, and they don't look, you know, big and massive like the ones that always spawn in. So I hate cutting down trees, and I always make tree farms. You know, the view... At the top of this thing probably looks really cool. I'm gonna have to take a peek out before I cut this whole thing down. And look at that, I've already got almost a stack of wood going down. It'll probably give me another, I don't know, 20, 20 blocks maybe. Wow, look at that. That's a cool view. Let's see my house. See what looks like 
looks like short forest over there. Maybe beyond that, maybe some more. Can't quite tell from here. Uh, we got a bunch of jungle in this area right here. It's not a huge jungle, but it is a jungle. And then we've got our little uh, little pool of water. Looks like it's kind of neat. It's like a snow biome right there, one right there, but dividing them is this jungly area that goes as far as my render distance allows. So that's pretty neat. All right, now let's cut this. Oh, don't cut directly under yourself. Unless you, you've got fancy skills and you can move. <laughs> I guess as this thing comes down, it's going to be dropping tons of saplings. Got to make sure I get every last piece of wood in here, though. Otherwise, I'm going to have a clump of leaves hanging up in the sky. And I don't know. I have a I have a little bit of OCD. I, I just can't stand like you know a floating patch of leaves in the sky. It irks me to no end. So it looks like I got a little more than I predicted, ending up with about a little under a stack and a half of wood. It might actually end up being about a stack once I collect all the little bits and pieces that have fallen. Yep. About a stack and a half, which is very good. One piece of bone meal, four saplings, and this thing, uh, it's going to rain down some saplings on us, so... We'll probably end up with enough to replant it, I think. Oh no, there's a lot more wood to uh, leaf ratio than there is on other trees. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, there we go, converted all that. And... I, yeah, I am. I'm, think, I'm thinking about it. I'd like to keep this whole pink wood thing. I think it looks actually quite neat once you've gotten used to it. At least for the flooring. The walls can be uh, can be this different color stuff. You know, normal or that really pasty white stuff from the birch trees. And that dark stuff is kind of neat too. I like it. Kind of looks a little chocolatey. I don't know. <laughs> it makes me makes me want some chocolate. We can just clean this up. And, uh, yeah, that that definitely gave us a ton of wood. And I'll go and collect up um, most of this stuff. All right, yeah, two by two here. Let's just pick up all these little wood blocks we can. Ooh, <laughs> those vines are actually kind of life-saving. Maybe not life-saving, but definitely keep you from rolling your ankle or whatever happens when you hit the ground. Hit it too hard and then you like break your leg and slowly put it back together. Hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, it's definitely not quite the ratio, the same ratio, so I may have to plant this one I have on me, collect all the stuff off that. Doesn't look like it'll end up with an even trade, giving me back all the uh, saplings, but, I mean, it gave me a ton of wood, so I can't complain too much. Actually, let's look at something. I may ditch this idea. I don't know if I like it anymore. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, let's uh let's get another axe. So 
So, uh, yeah, I'm recording this on the same day that I recorded, uh, day two. <laughs> I don't know, I was, I was really excited about this whole, uh, treehouse thing, because I'd never built one before. So I was all pumped about it that I really couldn't wait to, uh, to do it again. So, <coughs> I decided to come back and make another episode. I, like I said, I do like Minecraft a lot, so I may end up stringing episodes like this together at times. And I don't have a timer, so I'll probably accidentally end up uh, going over a time limit. I'm trying to hit about a 30 minute time limit know, if it goes over 10 minutes, I'll just give it a 40 minute time, you know, I'll just let it go with its 40 minute time, but, uh, if it gets too long, I'll start splitting it up. I like, uh, I like now that you get back an even number of half slabs for what you put into it. Now we're not, a uh, slowly losing half slabs. I mean, not that it was that big of a deal. You, If you put in three blocks, you'd get back three half slabs. Which, you know, isn't really that big of a deal. But now we get sort of an even trade. Now it kind of makes sense. And, uh... I would be worried about, you know, the whole only having pink wood available to us locally if I couldn't do this thing where I could get half slabs. And uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to get glass at some point in the future. That's going to be the annoying thing is if I decide to remodel, which I probably will. I usually do in these uh, when my house is I make, I like to remodel after a while, but when I go to remodel, <laughs> you know, if I don't remember that I used half slabs, I'm going to be perplexed there for a little bit, wondering why the wooden axe isn't cutting it. I'll remember, but I'll just be, why? Why isn't this working? I'm using an axe on the wood. And then I'll remember that slabs do not have normal properties. I'm also another thing, um, I'm also a little bit of a pack rat, so I will probably end up making a, uh, a room, like a supply room at some point where I store excess supplies, and I'll probably keep lots of stuff that people wouldn't normally think about keeping, like, you know, if I make some kind of a wheat farm and I end up with excess seeds, which you always do when you make a wheat farm, then uh, I'll make probably a double chest devoted just for the seeds, which I did in my other world. And my friends always thought I was weird, and truth be told, probably is a little weird. But, uh, you know, I like keeping my stuff. So if that annoys you, I'm sorry. I'll try to uh, to not put too many videos of uh, my stuff. I mean, I might give like an inventory check. In fact, I think I will do that. Like once I actually start caving and get some serious materials, I'll start doing inventory checks. But uh, I won't bore you with my huge collections of useless materials. <laughs> All right, let's get us another tree. These are like the regular trees, they give you a normal amount of saplings for the tree. Alright, so that's going good. Um, we'll cut out those ones down there once we get to them. Let's see if I can... Ah, there we go. Yes, thank you vines. Thank you very much. nothing jumps on me while I'm sitting down here trying to 
make this. Whoops. Um, there we go. Cut that out. Anyway, uh, I think this is, you know, the part where it starts getting tedious again. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm going to be making a ring around this, uh, this little hole I made. So I can go down and then I'll make a uh, ladder going down it. So uh, I'll resume the video once I've completed the ladder to the ground and we start digging into the ground. Alright, so uh, just finished it. And uh, before I go I thought I'd make a shovel. Because a lot of times you do run into uh, dirt underground. And Anyway, I've got a couple layers of dirt at the top. So figure that this will be useful regardless. And it keeps only giving me back one sapling. Oh, okay, two. Alright, um, I'm just going to leave that there for now, see if it naturally grows for me. And, uh, we'll be off into the depths of the world. So, this is down to the forest floor, and uh, just gonna dig down. I've got 26 of these, which isn't quite enough, but it'll get me a good way down, and I'll probably need to resupply in tools by the time that uh, it runs out anyway. Oh, I almost forgot. I forgot because it's daytime right now, so I don't need it, but. I like to have some torches on my way down, so nothing can really spawn in midair. Once, because once this is dug out, it'll be in midair. But you know, I mean, it's, first off, it's bad for video, which it's always keeps setting itself back to moody. I'm not quite sure why it does that. I'm thinking maybe I have to save and quit. Hold on, let me do that really quick. Okay, maybe it saved itself. There we go. Okay. Hope that fixed it. But, uh, keeps, you know, keeps setting itself down. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm thinking maybe it's just because I haven't saved it. But, uh, you, you know, you don't want to have anything looking dark and dingy. So, uh, fill that in with some light, and everything looks good. I did forget how much I love having mine chefs open to the sun though. They uh they look a lot better. Hoping to run into some coal, because I don't want to have to make charcoal, but I will if I run out of torches. Now uh once we're actually pass through into the uh, stone part of the world. Uh, we're getting, uh, we're actually at about max, or lowest level. So we should start running into stuff soon. And what do you know? We have some coal here, which is good. Although not much of it. It's a little odd. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm guessing it uh it intersected with this gravel and the gravel kinda like deleted it. Alright, I think that was all of it. Let's keep going down. And uh, like I said, the pick's probably going to break in a second, so uh, we have just about enough ladders for that. Two more. So 
So, uh, like I said, this isn't going to be an only Minecraft channel, though. Um, I do think that uh, I'm going to make, you know, a good section, like good series starter like I am. Maybe 20 episodes or something to start off with Minecraft to give me something good to start off with. And um, then I'm probably going to move on to a different game. I'm uh, I'm still deciding. I kind of want to play a uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution, um, but uh, I don't know. I'm I'm still thinking about it. And uh, let's see. I could play that. Um, I have a number of other games. So uh, still deciding. What am I doing? There we go. So, uh, I'll, you know, I'll come up with that soon. I'll probably put out a bunch of these episodes, and then after a while I'll start interlacing, uh, in some, uh, some other stuff. Seeing if that draws any attention, or seeing if, you know, people don't want that, then I might quit that and try something new. Alright, so new pick. Some more ladders. <laughs> oh, that's scary. That's scary. But caught myself, so we're all good. I'm hoping to hit a cave. Um, I'm pretty sure jungles are the same as everywhere else and that they have the same, you know, underground act to uh, like underground as everywhere else. Cuz I'm pretty sure once you get under the ground, biomes don't really matter anymore. Like biomes don't really have any meaning once you're underground cuz biomes only apply to like the surface of the world. But once you've gone beneath the ground, it sort of just turns into an underground cavey thing. What depth am I at? Dang it, I'm going to need some more ladders. I used most of my ladders that I ended up making on a on getting through that wood section, although... Wow, I've actually gone quite a bit down. I didn't even realize. And I think it's turning to nighttime as well because it's getting a bit dark in here. I need to spread some more torches. Iron. More iron. Definitely need some more. Okay, uh, let's see, anything else? Had a list of stuff I had to say, but I think I've said most of it. Uh, oh, darn it. Um, yeah, I think I will probably. I'll probably just add them randomly, and uh, I'll probably add these extra video series randomly. You know, just interlace them with my uh, with my, my Minecraft series, which I think Minecraft will sort of be like my flagship, my main series. And uh, these other series, I mean, they'll go through a full series, but I'll probably keep playing Minecraft for longer, because you know, it doesn't really have an end per se. It has that new little ending. You can go to the end and beat the dragon, but honestly it's not the end. You can keep playing and so there's really no end to Minecraft and honestly I like it better that way, having no end. I'd hate it if it ever stopped and we couldn't keep building. It'd lose pretty much all of its appeal. But uh 
I'll interlace those in. Probably do maybe maybe a couple episodes of those, and then a couple episodes of Minecraft, and a couple episodes of those. And uh, just go through them and you know, as long as I'm having fun, I, I feel like that it'll work. Because uh, I have a bunch of games that I enjoy, and I'd be more than willing to play and record them. I think as well, I'll also upload a list, like just on my channel. Um, I'll post a list of all the games that I currently own. So, if I get uh, any followers who want me to play a certain game that I have, then I can go ahead and do that. Do we have any skeletons out here? That's really the only thing I want right now, is some skeletons. Get some squids. I am playing it hard, right? Yeah. Hmm. And yet, no monsters. I guess they're all spawning underground. It's a little sad, honestly. I wanted more monsters. So far, it's turning out to be very easy. I'm going to say that and then I'm going to get my butt kicked by a creeper, probably. It's going to like drop from my roof or something because I probably failed to light like one key spot on it. Okay, cool. Now we got some more space. Uh... throw all these little bits of materials that I don't need in there. Um, let's see. Okay. And, whoops, almost forgot one of the important things I needed. some more ladders. We're almost done, though. Yeah, that's more than we'll need. Okay, so we'll let that smelt. Catch! <laughs> oh, living on the edge right here, my friends. Living on the edge. We're at 19, which is good. We're uh, getting down into the deep levels. What I think I'm going to do is, uh, if I don't find a cave, which I'm getting pretty close to the bottom, so you know, if I don't find a cave soon, I'm going to, uh, off camera, of course, because this is going to be tedious. Um, oh, yes. Finally, we got something. Fortunately, I can't mine it right now, but I can go get that iron that I'm just smelting and do that. Um, I'll probably make the strip mine, which I, I hate doing that. I really do. But, uh, but I, I'd like to get some starter materials so I can build off into these other directions and start my house. Um, because once you get a good base going, then you can start leaving your house and you can have, uh, some peace of mind that you'll have, you know, if you get torn up out there, you'll have enough materials back at home to patch you back together and you can keep going. Because honestly, if I got a... If I had... I mean, I, I guess I got enough meat that I could patch up myself if I got hurt, but... You know, I wouldn't be able to, uh... to trudge out into, like, a full-scale onslaught right now. I've only got some leather hat and boots, which offers very little protection. What am I doing? There we go. And I've got, you know, poor mining tools, like I just now am making a iron pick. But once I can get some stuff that'll be good. I think one of the uh the first things I'm going to start investing into 
because I've got about half a stack of meat, but <coughs> that's going to run out. I'm going to invest in a, uh, in making a farm. Oh, lag. <laughs> I'm going to invest in making a, uh, a wheat farm. <coughs> and, uh, I could, you know, go small, but, uh, I've found if you invest in a really nice wheat farm, then you won't have to fix it in the future for when you want to start large scale producing wheat or anything really. So uh, I think I'll try to go large scale. Unfortunately to do that, I will, uh, I'm going to make a, ah, wow we're at the bottom, okay. I'm going to need some pistons and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we've hit the bottom of the world, and, uh, we did get some materials. We got eight pieces of redstone, which isn't much, but it's definitely a start. Um, we've got our little shelter house. More for looks than anything right now. It doesn't really offer any, uh, amenities other than a bed and some storage. The ability to craft stuff and cook stuff, which uh, is very basic. I'd like to get some farms started uh, in, some, in the coming episodes. We can get all of our basic farms started, um, get some machines made, make our life easier, maybe start making some paths. I, I do, I don't, I'm not 100% sure on how I'm going to do this, but I would, th I do think it'd be really cool. You know, just envisioning this in my mind, of course. Uh, which is always different than what usually happens. Maybe extending this platform this way, over towards this tree here, that tree, and onwards. Maybe making a ring around this lake in both directions. I think that would be really cool. Now, you know, obviously that's a lot of work. It's going to be uh, taking us a long time to build. But I think once it's done, it will look absolutely spectacular. Assuming I don't completely butcher how to put together this stuff. Alright, so uh, our spoils for the day are some redstone. We've got a little bit of iron. That's that's about it. But uh, today was not unprofitable to say the least. We got our mine shaft down, which will allow us to get into the earth. Um... I'll probably start digging outwards until I either hit something cool or diamonds. Um, and then, you know, once I get some diamonds, I can actually start uh, making some really useful materials. Uh, sorry, I mean really useful equipment. Anyway, I'm going to leave off here for now. And uh, off camera, I'm going to start doing a lot of strip mining down there. Um, maybe for an hour or two. See if I can get some supplies. And uh, when I come back next time for the next episode, we'll uh, hopefully have some good supplies and we'll be on our way to starting up our world. So until next time.